Hey guys, thanks for tuning into the channel this week. We brought in Sam. He's going to take us through his early evolution of dirt bikes, if you will. Talk about how he kind of came up in the sport and his transition over to two strokes. So uh, stick around. Sam, how did you get started on bikes? When I was a little kid, my dad had a Honda 500, and so we kind of been a Honda family our whole lives. And uh, I remember as a little kid wanting to ride a bike really, really bad. And my uh, my parents were the type that didn't didn't think dirt bikes were safe. So I rode four wheelers for a long time. Had a blast. I loved the four wheelers. I had a, a board out 440, 400EX, uh, which is a uh, a race four-wheeler, but uh, boarded out, put suspension on it. It was a huge dooner, and I rode that through my teenage years. But the whole time, I was wanting to, to buy a dirt bike. So tell us about that first bike. First bike I bought was a brand new CRF uh, 250X. It was a 2005. Bought it straight from the dealer, me and my brother. And uh, can remember that we were afraid to ride a, the bikes in the back of our truck. I'm, I'm kind of embarrassed to say that. <laughs> <laughs> paid for it in cash and I love that bike they don't have as much power as the the race versions or the R's but uh, they have a, a first gear which you know I always call the granny gear where it was just so, it was just so easy to, to climb stuff with um, it handled like a dream had electric start um, but I rode that bike for a long time it was it was a great bike I loved I rode the wheels off of it had that for a few years and you know as you do you kind of you tend to start to look at other bikes and I, I I hit the limit on the bikes power pretty quickly so I I didn't want to buy a 450 because I kind of I'm kind of a lightweight so I figured if I went straight to a 450 it would ride me instead of me riding it so I decided well what bike should I get so I was reading the magazines and like I said I was a Honda guy and uh, I've, my family's a Honda and Yamaha family, so I decided that uh, I was going to start looking at all the other different bikes to see what would be the best bike to buy. Possibly like a 250F, you know, or a R, the race versions of the, the bikes. And I talked to these guys and I was like, can you guys get any KTMs at the auctions or anything like that for a good deal? And he's like, I don't know, I can check. And he's like, well, what do you want to spend? And um, I was like, I don't want to, I want to spend $3,000. That's all I, I had to, this, you know, I didn't want to go up more than that with buying it used. Anyways, uh, you know, a month goes by and he calls me up and he said, we've got one for you. It's a 2007 250 SXF. I was like, great. He said, it's in dang good condition. We'll have it here in a week. So I was pumped. I get the bike and it's super cool. It's orange, it's black, it's got the black rims. Um, had some suspension work done on it, hydraulic everything. It had significantly more power. It felt way more powerful than my my ex. So I was really happy. But I well, found out that would so you jump you jump straight from the the four stroke two fifty to a two stroke two fifty. No four stroke. It was the two fifty oh. SXF. Okay, got it, got it. So I'm still on four stroke, and I I hadn't really seen the light so to speak yet with two strokes. That SXF really opened my eyes to motocross. I'm not any huge motocrosser, but huge jumps because that front stiff suspension, you could you could hit anything and it would just throw you. It was awesome. So I rode that for a year, but then I started trail riding more aggressively because some of my friends really liked it. And uh, I've never had arm pumps so bad in my entire life. <laughs> it was terrible. That front, Those front forks were way too stiff and I tried I drained, I drained the, um, the oil and put lighter oil in it. But basically, just whoever had it before me was a strictly a motocrosser and just put really, either really heavy or and put really stiff springs in it. But uh, anyways, I still love that bike. It handled like a mountain bike. It had a ton of power. It was this really sweet bike. Uh, but then, you know, reading the mag magazines and everything, I started wondering, you know, well, What's the perfect what's the perfect in between between a 450 and a 254 stroke? 
I see that uh, there's guys posted his bike in 2008 KTM 250 XCW and he's got it up for 3500 bucks and I was you know really excited and, and pumped and I almost felt like I was robbing him because you know 3500 bucks at that time for a, you know a year old bike and I kept asking him you know well does it have grunt down low and he just kept on looking at me like I was an idiot he's like this is this two-stroke has more grunt down low it's easier to ride down low than a four-stroke he kept telling me he's like I'm just glad it's going to a good home so is that with that bike is that where you really uh, solidified yourself as wanting to do enduro style and off-road style single track or, or had that already been solidified in your mind was it that bike that did it for you the the 250 XW? No, I was still thought I was a more of a motocrosser um, so I wasn't a hundred percent sure but it was such a good deal and I wanted a KTM two-stroke 250 so bad that I wasn't sure I wanted an XC or an SX but XCW had electric star and a few goodies and after talking to him and him tell me basically it's a full-fledged race bike I didn't I didn't actually I wasn't worried you know that I'd be able to do whatever I want with it but uh, first ride out it was it was a trail ride and I remember it just being epic and I remember like, this is the, I'm a two-stroke man from life, just from that first ride. And I love that W, and I still love it. I actually still think it's the best trail bike W version. Maybe you can argue the 300 is a little bit better just because of the tractor pull that it has. But I love that bike. It was such a good bike. I rode it everywhere. And I rode that bike longer than any of my other bikes. I had that one for, well, I guess my X I had for about almost four years. And the same with this. Um, this uh, XCW, so. Well, thanks for stopping by uh, and doing a little, a little segment with us on Dirt Bike Channel, and uh, look forward to uh, doing some more video reviews with you in the future. Thanks for having me. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to Dirt Bike Channel. If you like what we're doing, please click that subscribe button and uh, share with your friends too. You wouldn't believe how much that helps us out. Um, if you've got ideas for videos that you want to see upcoming, let us know what they are and we'll put them on the pile, stick them on the list of things uh, to start covering. And uh, once again, just thanks for watching.